Yes, good morning. This is Channel 6 and a half. We appear before Channel 7, being here a brief on a news story that's breaking today. An embezzlement of a local business in Coconut Creek of $248,000 by a computer program who was able to open a back door into the company's business while working there and then siphon out that money into his own personal credit cards. He had six credit cards at two different banks. It took him approximately two years. The company didn't find out until it was too late. We're bringing you this story today as a warning to other small businesses. If you are on a computer and you are doing business through the computer, be careful of the people who you give control of the codes and passwords. They can filter it out very easily. By the time you find out, you can lose anywhere up to, as there have been cases, $15 million. Unfortunately, the young man that did this is a dope addict, and we assume that most of the money is gone. We've set up a special arrangement today with the Coconut Creek Police Department uh, to bring him in here under the guise of picking up his personal belongings. When he appears, the detectives will swoop down and put the cuffs on this man and take him away. The courts will decide what the penalty is for embezzling $248,000. Stay tuned. Rest of the story will be on Channel 7 at 11 p.m. this evening. Thank you. Got anything on you? No. Not at all? What's your... Oh, my wallet. What am I doing with this for? You have a warrant for your arrest. For what? Don't explain it off station. What's this one? What's this? What? What's Well, back to the six and a half TV news. He's just been arrested. You've seen the police officers from Coconut Creek who came in here, made the arrest quietly, handcuffed him. They've taken him out now. He will be taken down to the local precinct, be interrogated, find out what is going on with this case and how he was involved, if there were any conspirators along with him. Uh, I'm sure once he understands what the charges are and what the penalties are, this is felony grand theft. This is not jaywalking. This is a serious charge. There will be time long time to be served. If he is found guilty by the court, he's going away. 